Hi, my name is Cynthia Riccio. I'm the Director of Education at the Webb Dean Stevens Museum. And during this time of COVID, when we cannot have you here in person, we are going to be bringing you some of our favorite education programs via video. This morning, we are in front of the Buttock Williams House, and I am here with one of our educators, Linda Pagluco, and we are going to go through the house and learn a little bit about some of the things that took place in the book, The Witch of Blackbird Pond. Hello and welcome to the Buttoff Williams House, which is best known um, for its um, place in literary history as the setting for the Witch of Blackbird Pond. And uh, the house is about 50 years newer than the 1660s, which were the, was the time in the book when uh, the heroine uh, Kit comes from Barbados to Wethersfield. But uh, building technology had not changed very much at all. And this is the sort of house um, that her host family, uh, the Woods, would have lived in. And I love it because it really shows you what life in earliest New England was like. Now when your group comes uh, to do the Witch of Black with Home program, this is the room in which we're going to start. It was probably the first room that Kit saw. And uh, we talk about the contrast between Kit's nice, warm, sunny home in Barbados and her new life in cold Wethersfield. And in every room we have vignettes set up that are reminiscent of scenes from the book. And we will take you through the house and point those out to you. I'm standing in one of the most important uh, early scenes in the book. We're in the kitchen. This is the hearth, uh, which is quite impressive. And this is the scene of one of Kit's first failures. Uh, she was really shocked to find out that she was going to have to do household work. No servants here. And she botched her first, first attempt to cook supper for her new family. I won't tell you why, uh, you can find out in the book. Another scene that takes place um, next to this hearth is what was known as the Dane School, a Dane School being a school run by local housewives, actually. And the Woods had a Dane School going to teach young, young children uh, their alphabet, their letters, their numbers, and uh, the rudiments of how to read. And this is one of the settings in which that school takes place. The kitchen is just chock full of items that are about 300 years old, items that we might not recognize today, but um, it's interesting to give kids an opportunity just to say, um, what is that and what is this? And to talk about what the differences between a 1700s kitchen and a 2021 kitchen might be. Now we're standing in what the woods would have called their hall or best room. We would probably call it a living room today. And it was a room that was reserved for special occasions like when in the Witch of Blackbird Pond, uh, William and John come calling. They were called according in the book. Um, to sit and visit with Judith, the eldest wood sister, and Kit. And they're seeing if they like each other, I presume. So we have the table set up to, to replicate that scene in the book in which the boys sat and read for, for the girls' enjoyment um, from scripture and other religious texts. And the girls sat and knitted stockings. And for refreshment, they had popcorn and cider. It's a special occasion, so there probably would have been a roaring fire in the fireplace. And of course, the woods would have been hovering nearby, probably uh, near the front door, just to make sure that everything that took place was, uh, was proper. Now I'm about to walk up chamber, we would simply say up the stairs, and I really believe that it's worth a visit to the house simply to have this particular experience. 
this uh, stairway is very narrow. The stair treads are smaller than most of our feet, which hang over. You have to use really careful uh, safety measures in order to climb this staircase. And as a, a woman, I always like to imagine trying to climb these stairs at night with a candle in one hand and a little baby in the other hand and a long skirt. And if you think about that, you can really understand why so many people were injured or died because they fell down the stairs. Now this is a center chimney house and these are the stairs leading up to the, the attic. This is the top of the chimney, which is huge downstairs. That's why the fireplaces are so wide and so deep. But as the chimney rises through the house and is prepared to exit through the roof, it gets narrower and narrower. And you can see that so clearly uh, if you look up at it from this vantage point. Now we are standing up chamber in the room that was shared in the book by uh, Kit and Judith. And in front of the window where the light is good this morning, we have a collection of early textile tools. These tools were used to make thread from flax, which is a plant that everyone grew, or to do some weaving. This is a little, a little loom. And you could do a half hour talking about these implements if you so chose. But uh, I encourage you to come and see this and all the other wonderful things in the Badaf Williams house. And we can talk further about anything you have a question about.